Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the values function in DAX. Let's just get started. All right, so the values function is equivalent of the remove duplicates feature in Excel. Now, let's say we have a list of names here, and you can see that a couple of names are duplicated. What I'd like to do is I'd like to get a table of a single column where the duplicates are not there. And that is exactly the values function in DAX. Now, in Excel, what you would do is you would select this range of cells, click on remove duplicates, and you will end up with this list. Now the values function accepts a single column of a table as an input and what it delivers you as an output is a one columnar table without any duplicate. So this is a table with a single column only and this is what my input is for the values function. When I do that in DAX, this is what I'm going to get as an output. All right, a couple of things to note that although I have just told you that the values function gives you a table which is going to have only a single column with unique values, but at times the values function can also return you a scalar value. Scalar value simply means a single value, not a table. Table, you understand what a table means. Table means, you know, a data set with rows and columns. But at times, the values function can also return you a scalar value. Let's just take a look at the values function in a little more detail. And I'll explain to you in Power BI how the values function work. All right, I'm into Power BI. And here I have a very simple data. We just have one columnar table where I have a couple of duplicate names. Now, what I'd like to get is a table with unique names. So I'm going to go to the modeling tab and create a new table. And let's just call this as unique table and I'm going to use the values function and as soon as I do that it's asking you for a table or a column name I'm going to supply a table name with just one column of that table so data names is the table that I'd like to supply I'd close the bracket press enter when I confirm this formula the output that I'm going to get is going to be a one columnar table which will just have the unique values and you can see that we have that all right let's just take a look at that how does the values function work in a measure so I'm going to come to my visual right here and on the data I will create a measure real quick and I'm gonna say values and I'm gonna write the name of the column of the data table close the bracket press enter now once I drag this measure into the visual and try to create any kind of visual this is going to give me an error because remember that what I told you was the values function returns you a table which will just have one column but can possibly have multiple unique values multiple unique values in a form of a table cannot be presented in any form of a chart that's why this this visual gives you or any kind of visual gives you an error and if you click on see details it says that multiple values were supplied that's why I have an error so I'm gonna just cancel this so the way to fix this is I'm gonna come to the measure right here and use an aggregator around the values function so I can use something like a count rows here and I'd like to say that I'd like to count the number of unique values in that particular column that is created out of the values function and once I do that the the measure starts to run absolutely fine I can just maybe convert that to a card and I can see that I have eight unique values of the names all right let's just do one more thing right here so I'm going to create a pivot table in the pivot table I'll drag the uh, names right here and let's just create another measure which is where I will write the values table and the column name right here close the bracket and let's just drag this measure into the pivot table obviously as you would expect uh, this would obviously give you an error and it has given me an error but let's just wait so I'm going to remove the measure from the table and the table starts to work once again and I will go to the format tab and in the subtotals I will turn off the subtotals and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the measure once again to the pivot table and it starts to work absolutely fine now you must be wondering that what just happened earlier it was not working Working, but as soon as we turned off the subtotals it started to work again so let me explain to you let's just pick up maybe joy so when I'm just doing the calculation for joy the filter context is name equals to joy so let's just go apply that filter context on on this data so name equals to joy I will apply that and you can see that we have two values remaining here now the values function starts to work on this table which will just have two values it will give you a table which will just have one value which is the single name as joy because it has removed the duplicates from this now whenever the values function gives you a single value it converts into a scalar value that means joy actually can be converted into a scalar value if it's the only value in the table right so that's why we have the tables 
right here but remember that as soon as you turn on the subtotals here in the subtotal level right here at the total level right here we have all the names and because we have all the names they cannot be converted to a scalar value and hence that was giving you an error so if i go back here again and turn on the subtotals this is going to give me an error so you can see that it gives me an error right so what i can do is i can do something like this so i'm going to say if has one value that means check if the names has a single value if the names has a single value then just give me the name otherwise give me an aggregation so which is the count rows of the values uh, of the data names column this is going to remove the error from this so here at the bottom we get to see that we have total eight unique names we have an aggregation here we do not have a table here and here the values function has a table although but since there is only one unique value it just gives you a scalar or a single value the value itself all right that's about the values function i hope you like it uh, if you have any questions around this please feel free to put them down in the comments below i'll be more than happy to help you out thanks so much for watching this and stay tuned i'll see you in the next one take care and bye bye